Hey everybody, good morning. It's nice to see you. I'm back at the hospital, again. What's going on this year? My appointment starts in like 10 minutes, so I gotta go. Super quick appointment, nothing really too crazy. I am going home this weekend, but what's nice is it's early enough in the morning, I have enough time. <sighs> Why do I even have this thing on? It's early enough in the morning that I can still go work out and be home on a good time. So I'm gonna head to the gym and then I'll explain everything what's going on because this is like, what, my eighth time in the hospital this year? Freaking, this is the most time in my life I've spent going to a hospital. Just like that, about an hour and a half. Done with my workout, I got rehab done for today, and now once again, I am headed back home to my hometown for the weekend. You guys ever notice how I point all the time? Look at the camera and I'm like, yes, here we go, next thing, this is where we're going, let's do this. I started noticing it like two weeks ago, and I'm still doing it right now, so I'm trying to do it less. <laughs> all right, one quick whip transition, and we're gonna be back home. Ready? Still pointing. Okay, ready? And I am back home. For you guys, that was probably super quick, but for me, it was like three and a half hours. It's a long trip, but it's worth it. It's super nice to be home. I'm gonna hang out with my family for a little while. Fun fact, today is my dad's first day of retirement, and he was just cleaning out our shed over that way. So I'm gonna hang out with them for a little while, and I need to shower because I worked out and drove for three and a half hours. So I smell pretty bad. You don't want to be in the video? Well, you can have parts of me. All right, parts, Do you parts want, of my mom um, will be in the video. A beef stick? I love a beef stick. Me and my mom are gonna make a Bloody Mary. This is my mother Mary, by the way. <laughs> meet me in there before I get my hand. You don't have to be in the video if you don't want no, to be in the video. It's all right. Okay, my mom doesn't like your picture taken. Ice and vodka. Bloody Mary mix. You might need um. A splash of Tabasco. How many shots did you put in? Only one. You want more? I'll put another one in. What? Shashashashairi? Yes. And you need pickle juice. Pickles. And <laughs> celery sauce. Yes. Oh, yeah. Okay, you want to grab a spoon? Oh, uh, yeah. Mmm. Oh, that's good. That's a good mix. Is it? Yeah, it is. Yes. Beef stick. Oh, beef stick, yes. And make a meal out of it. String cheese. I might have put a lot of Tabasco in there. But <laughs> I don't know. Too much? <laughs> it's almost overflowing. There you be, sir. Enjoy. <laughs> it was really close. <laughs> Take a sip. Yeah, meet oh, the glass. I spilled a little bit. Uh oh. Oh, yeah, that's a lot of Tabasco. <laughs> <laughs> you, you put too much Good. in. <laughs> I think it was just like sitting on the top or something. Oh. It's not too bad, but I just like inhaled it. Mm. It's not too bad. That's yeah. really good. And it's kind of like, like a big mm. a big slurp of it. Did good, honey. Oh, you did good. You're the one who made it. Thank you. Kitty! How's the old girl doing? <laughs> oh. Little pop. Oh, how are you, little man? Who's a good boy? <laughs> Cedric, you make for great content for a YouTube video, you know that? He's coming for you. Well, so we got yeah, oh, you're going out with them tonight. <laughs> 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 That's awesome. Awesome. And you want to have a garage though? We right? were going to be buying. Yeah, yeah I know. Well, it depends on the potatoes. Oh, it's supposed to possibly rain. Oh, like 70% chance of rain. Alex, are you going to go with us out there? Oh, he's going to get hurt. <laughs> Look it! <laughs> Woo! Oh, I would like you to feed it to me as well. Do you want me to <laughs> I said no, but I actually meant yes. I just stuck this in front of your face, didn't say anything. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> She's going to put that in the video. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, big, uh, the summer sausage, or what is that?
My parents are out on a walk right now, so I took my drone out. It's actually way up there. I don't, you guys probably can't see it. Oh, there it is. Return to home and land. So once my drone lands, I'm gonna tell you guys about the reason that I went to the doctors again today. Good drone. Is that a good view? Is that a good enough? The cornfield? So the reason that I went to the doctors today was for a dermatologist appointment, a uh, skin doctor for those of you guys that don't know. And I haven't brought this up on my channel at all. You guys may have noticed this in videos if you look closely, but I have had a rash on my like upper chest, neck, kind of going down towards my stomach a little bit and all over my back. Didn't really know what it was. It's just been kind of like speckled spots. You know, I'll take my shirt off. So, I don't know if you guys can see. Let me move my camera a little bit higher. So I don't know how well the lighting is right now. Anyway, all up on my upper chest, going down a bit, you can kind of see, you see these red dots that are all around, and it's all over my chest area, and it does hair. It goes up my neck, and then also it's, it's all over my back as well. And it kind of goes out yeah, see, you can see it really good right there. There's all of this red and these spots that kind of go out. This has honestly been going on since September of 2020. So for about 11 months now, almost a year. And it was just kind of like a little bit up on my upper chest. It wasn't anything super serious. I just saw it in the mirror one day and was like, hmm, I have a rash, that's kind of weird. Didn't really think too much about it, but it didn't go away. It stayed there, and it stayed there for months, and months, and months, and it's been 11 months now. So like I was saying, they noticed it before my first surgery, and they're like, yeah, it's not a big deal. It's really nothing serious. Still didn't go away. Noticed it before my second surgery, and they're like, hey, yeah, it's still there. Why don't we put you in for a dermatologist appointment? Derm appointments take forever to get into. I booked the dermatologist appointment that happened today. I booked it before my second knee surgery. So it's been three, four months about. So today was finally the day of my appointment. I got in, sat down with a very, very nice doctor. She was great. As soon as I took my shirt off, she was like, oh, it's this. She knew what it was immediately. She kind of just like looked around different parts, like on my, like my chest, my arms, my back, just to see where it was. And then they scraped off a little bit of my skin onto a, a microscope tray thing whatever you whatever you call those science people whatever you call the little grass grass whatever you guys call the the glass rectangles that you put underneath my microscope she put my scraped my skin onto that they took it in looked at it underneath the microscope to confirm if it was what she thought it was so what's going on with my skin and that's just another thing to add to my whole list of hospitalizations and things that have gone on with my health this 2020 <laughs> I have what's called Tinea Versicolor. I think that's what she said. 95% sure that it was Tinea Versicolor. From what she told me, essentially everyone has yeast that just like lives on your skin. It's just there all the time. You don't notice it. And my skin doesn't really like that. I guess it is very, very common. It's, it's treatable not a big deal at all and it shows up in people who are more active and sweat a lot and work out I'm the kind of person who is I'm a sweaty dude I'm a very sweaty kind of person I'm sweating right now if you guys can see that my hands are glistening just because I wiped my forehead <laughs> but it happens more in people who will work out and sweat a lot which is my exact case the only thing that I have to do is just take a pill um, whenever I want to and then again a week later and then I just have to use a sort of like body body wash kind of stuff to help clean it up and then eventually after a while it should just go away the doctor did say that most likely it will come back because it's very common but she said not to worry about it because you can just either a get another prescription or just keep on using that body wash to prevent it from coming back so I have to take this pill and then use this body wash every single day for like a month and then after that after 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 the eb, 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 and then <laughs> and then after that as it kind of like starts to fade away I can use the body wash a little bit less like two to three times per week this is just another thing that I had to get checked out and go back to the doctors again in 2021 to figure out what this situation is now and I'm glad that I just got it figured out and now I can take this prescription medication 
get it over with and not have to worry about a rash all over my skin. So yeah, that is my skin condition that has been going on for 11 months. Oh, I left my drone on. I gotta go turn that off. Here comes my dad on his bike. Check out the power in my new knees. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna hang out with the family the rest of tonight. They're both just coming home from their walk. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I will see you in my next one. Peace out.